I'm the President and CEO of the mid Main Chamber of Commerce, which serves 20 communities in the greater Waterville area that include Western Waldo, Northern and Central Kennebec, and Southern Somerset Counties. I'm here tonight representing uh, 630 members, which include paper mills, hospitals, precision manufacturing shops, and many, many sm small mom and pops as well, many of whom are leaders in Maine's business community. But they're also parents and grandparents of Maine's children, whose future depends on a strong economy and a sound environment. I know the DEP and LUPC are concerned about environmental impacts and mitigation. With regards to this, I'm here to say that carbon dioxide emission reductions as a result of this project advances Maine's progress toward meeting its long-term greenhouse gas emissions reductions goal. It will be very good for the environment as well as the economy. After all, our robust tourism industry calls on us to maintain clean air, healthy water bodies, and seasonal changes that support snowmobiling as well as fishing and hunting. The land on which CMP plans to develop the new corridor is commercial forest with hundreds of miles of logging roads that currently exist. The use of this land for a transmission corridor is in keeping with current land use and CMP happens to own this land. In terms of the project's benefits, our chamber supports NECEC because it will lower electricity supply prices and even, and even out energy prices spikes and out, and, excuse me, even out energy price spikes and uncertainty, which is never good for business. This project will result in millions of dollars of rate relief every year for Maine ratepayers. It'll also provide increased reliability for Maine and the ISO New England region by delivering baseload energy to replace retiring resources such as Pilgrim nuclear power set to close later this summer. There is real value in this infrastructure, which Maine will host and yet not pay to construct. It is also extremely important to ensure we have reliable electricity for the future. As you know, we all depend on our computers, our cell phones, our business machines, and the power to run these things. And naturally, the mid main Chamber is supportive on the project's economic benefits. This project will boost jobs in the region by supporting employment for an average of 1,700 people per year over a six-year period. Beyond that, it will add to the permanent local tax base in the host communities, help to expand broadband in an area of the state that really needs it desperately, and help fund essential economic development initiatives. So I'm here today to urge you to support the New England Clean Energy Connect, and I thank you for your time. <laughs>